Hello everybody. This video is just to show you how to make a simple Google site. So you're going to go into Google Drive. You're going to click the blue new button in the top left. You're going to go down to more and choose Google Sites. Now, once you're in here, there's a couple things that you need to take care of. First of all, you need to title your site. So make sure you have a name. Um, you need to make sure that it goes up here in the left because if you just fill in your page title here, um, it doesn't automatically come up here. If you then click up here and type it, that's better because um, then when you go into your Google Drive later and try and find it, um, it will not be called untitled site. Okay, um, you can change your image um, affect your header right here. Okay, you can change your you can select an image, you can upload an image, you can choose your header type, whether it's a large banner, a regular banner, just the title. And when you upload an image, um, it's going to automatically adjust the image so that it is a little bit more readable. So you'll see down here in the bottom right, it's adjusting for readability. Sometimes it darkens the photo so that this white text will show up. If you have dark text, it might lighten the photo so that it shows up better. Um, and you can turn that off by clicking on that. Now over on the right hand side are where all of your building tools are. So as we're editing this page, we pretty much just click on something to add it. So if we want text, we're just going to click here. Um, you can type your text in the box and then you can choose from the drop down uh, whether this is normal text, a title, heading, subheading, and as you use these subheadings, you'll get more options. Um, and it's going to go ahead and format this for you in colors and styles. You can change um, the style of this block um, because websites are kind of built with building blocks. Um, if you choose emphasis, it just shades it in a little bit, emphasis too, um, and you could use an image as the background for this segment as well. Okay, so you have a couple options there that are kind of fun. If you needed to delete this, you could delete it with the trash can or you can duplicate that section also. Um, something that is a little confusing, if you have an image on your computer, like on your desktop or um, on your H drive and you want to use that image uh, in your website, you're actually not going to click on images, you're going to click on upload uh, because anything that doesn't live in Drive has to be uploaded to the site. So if I want to add a picture, I click upload, select my picture, and I'll throw it in there. The, the way that that's different from images, if this will pop up, images lets you search uh, for an image or put the URL of an image that already lives on the web. Um, it'll let you choose from your albums or from your Google Drive um, and these so anything that's image is already online. So if it's on your computer, you need to click upload. OK, um, you can put a divider in there. You can put just about anything from your drive into the site. You can embed YouTube videos. You can embed calendars. You can embed a map, um, any kind of document over here. Now, pages, uh, if you need more pages, maybe you need um, three pages down here in the bottom center. Once you click on the pages tab, new page, and you just say on page number two. Okay. And that's it. It'll create a new page for you. Same options as the last page. You will have to click on the insert tab to get your editing features back. Um, but you can navigate back and forth with the navigation at the top. If you don't like this at the top and you want it on the side, you can use the gear over here to switch it to side navigation. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is themes. Remember when everything highlighted blue, this is why. Um, this is why my title was in blue. If I change that, like to pink, and go back home, you'll see that my title is now pink. So you can pick any of these themes that you want, and some of them have different color options. So pick one that fits your needs the best. When you're all finished, you can preview your site here with the eyeball, but you have to publish it and give it an address um, in order for anybody to see it. You want to pick who can visit your site right here. Um, if you can get by with just people at Frisco ISD visiting your site, then do that because we want these as restricted as we can. 
If you are looking for people outside of Frisco to specifically visit this site, then you need to choose this option. Otherwise, leave it alone at anyone at Frisco ISD, hit publish, and then it will give you an option to view your site here at the bottom. And here is my final site. And that's about it. If you have any further questions about Google Sites, I recommend Googling them. Um, Google has a lot of really good help for, for these because it is a Google product. So um, keep that in mind and best of luck as you create your site.